We're talking about high surf advisory at our beaches, which have been sucked in under foggy conditions over the last few days. I uh, want to show you, though, what's happening well to our south in some of the waters here. We've got two systems that we're keeping an eye on in terms of tropical development. One is Tropical Storm Brett down here in the southern Caribbean. Of more importance to the United States is what could become our next tropical storm. It would be Cindy. Right now, it's called Potential Tropical Storm number three. You know, bottom line, it's got 40 mile an hour winds and is sitting about 265 miles south of the Louisiana coastline. This is going to take a northwest pass and likely to develop into Cindy here today or tomorrow before making landfall. The big story with this system is going to be the amount of rainfall it'll bring to the coastline of the Gulf of Mexico here. The Gulf Coast states could see as much as four to eight inches of rain. So flooding rain going to be the biggest concern with that system. Locally, we're going to get a little break from the rainfall for most of the day tomorrow and during Thursday. Still trying to get the clouds to clear out here. They've started to lift in Narragansett and some brightening of the sky. So if you're thinking about heading down to the coastline, you will need to use extra caution in the waters as we have that high surf advisory. That can make us prone to rip currents, especially near sandbars, piers, and jetties. Today's rip current risk due to persistent onshore winds. You've been feeling those breezy south and southwest winds last couple of days, and that's what's causing it. So you'll want to uh, you know, use those escape routes to let the rip current either take you out or try and swim parallel to the coastline until you're out of the pool of that rip current. Radar is uh, mostly quiet. We had a couple of sprinkles still over the Cape. Highs where we've seen some sunshine climb back and up to around 80 degrees. We're in the mid 60s in Newport and the 70s in Westerly 80 in Providence, but it feels like 83 still a lot of high humidity. August day of the year 511 or sunrise sun setting at 824 this evening 82 in Providence Cumberland in the lower 80s. Our temperatures under a warm and muggy sky in Rhode Island College at 81 and Westerly 75. Notice where the fog is still in place in Newport. It's at a cool 63 degrees high dew points. Anything above 60 degrees, you notice we're still at 70 in Providence, but drier air to our north and west. Eventually that coming in, so a more comfortable day on the way for tomorrow. Rest of today, looking at dry skies, sunshine for the evening hours overnight tonight. The humidity dropping a bit. Tomorrow morning starts off dry. Slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Rest of this afternoon going to stay in the lower 80s. Warm, humid, and dry. Temperatures at 77 5 o'clock this evening. There is a small craft advisory in effect on the bay. This evening, temperatures dropping through the 70s. And overnight tonight, while you're sleeping, temperatures down to around 64 degrees. You should be more comfortable for sleeping. And by the way, the summer solstice happening 1224 in the morning. Tonight, I'm going to uh, see that first day of summer featuring a more comfortable humidity level for you. Those dew points around or below 60 degrees. We consider that comfortable for the summertime. 82 for the high tomorrow. Slight chance of a shower. Thursday looks dry and then more showers possible Friday into Friday night. Chance some of those